Hi everyone, it's James here from the Anvil. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I find it hard to believe, but I have to believe it. And lots of West Ham fans might even believe this. West Ham have already been linked with 50 different players in the January transfer window. That's not even Christmas yet. So, um, that just gives you an idea of um, all the transfer speculation that goes on around West Ham. But... Nonetheless, I can't report on all 50 players. So for that reason, I pick out um, players that I think are worth talking about. And uh, some transfer rumours are more important than others. Some are going to get people's attention more than others. So that's why I'm being quite selective. Um, one such player who has recently been named is a player that West Ham's actually inquired about. He is a winger who is a Georgian international. When I say Georgia, I don't mean the state in America. You know, I get my peaches down in Georgia. Not that place. Not the place full of peaches. Not the place full of the football team that bottled it in the Super Bowl. I'm talking about Georgia as in the former Soviet country. Um, he's a winger. He is um, 20 years old. And his name is, and I'm going to try and get say this, his name is... Kavicha Karavachakalia. I think we'll call him KK, because his name, no disrespect, but his name looks like someone did this with a keyboard. That's a very difficult name. I think we'll just call him KK. All right, like KK. Let's just call him KK. Okay, so. KK is a highly rated Georgian winger in the Russian Premier League. He plays for Ruben Kazan. And... Uh, He's known for having a lot of really strong attacking traits. What is notable about this guy, I did see some videos on him. He's very good with his acceleration and he can ghost players. Those are two things that Manuel Lanzini was known for pre-ACL tear. His ability to ghost players and his uh, ability to dribble past people. This is what KK is good at, dribbling and... Um, being very um, potent in attack. Um, he's explosive. He's got great technique. And he likes to run straight. He's not the kind of player who cuts in and out. He's very focused on running straight. And this is, um, in my opinion, one thing that a winger should do more often. is just run straight down the side. Not cut in too much. Cutting in too much um, gives you more chance of being intercepted if you think about it because if you if you cut in if you cut in the defender can get around you kk prefers to run straight running straight with his speed works and the reason why is because he can maintain possession of the ball and he's able to read what a situation could become before it does happen so say like a right back or a left back's coming up up against him he knows whether he can make a pass or whether he can pass laterally or whether he can take on the player and do so sensibly. Um, he, um, marking him is very difficult. He plays out on the left more than he does the right. Um, but he can play on either side of the field. And um, his dribbling is excellent. He actually... Registers, I'm just looking at the statistics. He registers 3.4 successful dribbles on average per match. Not bad at all. Um, he's a player who's got a good brain about him, a good footballing brain on him for his age because he knows what to do with the ball. He's not one of these players who I think is going to run from one end of the field to the other and score. He's not someone who's going to um, showboat, tap, 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 do tippy, tappy, I'm fancy, fancy pants. No. Just makes good, intelligent decisions while knowing what he can do within his limits. Chelsea's after this bloke as well. Um, West Ham's apparently started to make contact with him. And if this is so, I would actually welcome this bloke to West Ham because I think he could be a diamond in the rough. David Moyes loves his diamonds in the rough. And... Um, this, I think, is one. He's made um, only 12 caps for the Georgia national team. 
He's only made 12 appearances for them. But already, this guy is making headlines in his homeland. Georgia's not a country that you really think about when it comes to football. I mean, there was a player called Zorab Kinashvili, and there was um, another player for Manchester City as well, who was Georgian. Um, so, going back then, oh yeah, Georgie King Ladzi. And... Um, you know, there have only been two Jordans who've actually played in the Premier League. It's not really a country you think about when it comes to football. But always, every now and again, you get a footballer who puts said country on the footballing map. And I think that's what KK is doing. Here. Um, should West Ham even lose Jared Bowen? Here's a thought. Should West Ham lose Jared Bowen, KK could be a good replacement. That would be good business. I don't want to lose Bowen. No. But KK would be a good fit for us. I like this guy. I like what I'm seeing about this guy. I like what the reports say. His dribbling, his ghosting ability, and his direct approach to football. This is everything you want in a winger. He's only a 20-year-old kid. But yet to have made such big strides... In Russia, so far, and in his homeland, um, kids going places. Already this season, he's got four goals in 22 games. Not amazing, but it's what he's doing in the build-up play that I think is what people need to look at more. This is a typical David Moyes kind of signing, this fella. So, um, you know, he's come from nowhere. He's a player who you think, who? But... I think this is one to look out for. I say this a lot in my videos, actually, on, on um, Wheel and Deal. I say a lot, oh yeah, I take him, I take him, I take him, or I take him. I actually would seriously consider signing KK. Because I think he's going to look a good, good prospect. And reports are saying that West Ham are making a move for him. Let's hope. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Wheel and Deal. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all soon.